Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it is a Whip Wednesday, and it's pretty late in the day, so hopefully I get this out early enough that you can still watch it on a Wednesday night. I tell ya, life is happening, guys. School is officially, well, okay, my kids are officially not going to school. Um, this week is dumb. I, I, I just I have to say that about, about schools. Um, I don't think it's all schools, but around here, they issue the yearbooks on Monday, and so there'll be kids at the school on Monday. Uh, pretty much the schools were empty yesterday, and today we didn't even bother sending kids to school. They sent an email saying they don't even take rule the net rest of the days. The official last day is Friday. Yeah, my kids are done going to school. Weird. Weird. So I'm working on getting myself into summer summer mode whatever that looks like so yeah but also today was the last dentist appointment for kids until next fall yay and um all those allergies that i've said i had i just found out it could be food intolerance there's a particular one i cannot remember the name of it it's salicytes or something like that um, it's an intolerance to something that's in plants that they put out as a defense mechanism against bugs and that uh, some people are um, sensitive to it and so they ha can have what looks like an allergic reaction um, but it doesn't put the certain thing into your bloodstream like an allergy does and without getting an allergy test I have no way of knowing which they are however when I look at the list of the things um, compared to the list of the things I can't eat it's pretty high um, side by side comparison and so it's a pretty high possibility that it's this intolerance or sensitivity depending on who you talk to um, so yeah, I would have to go get an allergy test to know for sure. Anyway, um, but it means that my body is freaking out as if I had a reaction. Um, sometimes I get stomach ache, stomach aches. Sometimes I actually get my throat closing up. Um, I've been getting a lot of um, burning mouth with tingling and having a hard time breathing and feeling like um, really lightheaded and dizzy. But these could all be this cinder or this sensitivity intolerance, or it could be allergies. So, like I said, without actually getting an allergy test, I have no way of knowing. But it is what it is. All right, so it is Whip Wednesday, so I'm talk supposed to talk about the things I have in progress. However, because I have been really bad about doing any finished objects for um, my creative expressions video and may or may not get one out next week because of the holiday um, I am showing you this finished object so hit the little tail isn't this so pretty this one is so pretty this makes two two whole seahorses I don't know what it is about the seahorses. They, they're super fast to make. They're not hard to make. But anyway, I got that one done. Yay! Um, I did finish my dishcloth for things we're making Thursday. You are welcome to go watch last Thursdays. Um, I do have a things we're making Thursday progress, or work in progress, I will talk about tomorrow. So the next thing I have, of course, I've been working on this. I squish it way back on the thing so it doesn't fall off, but I have been working on this until it's getting a little scrunchy and stuff, which is way awesome. So I'm excited about that. If I hold it in the center and kind of, you know, like fold it in half, that's about what we've got going there for the radius which means that the diameter is twice that so I eventually want to have it to where 
I'm like, he would like this radius. Well, we'll see. We'll see how far I get on this. But I am excited. I love working on this, and I worked on it at the dentist office. Um, so I'm counting today as a work in pro or as a actual progress on something. Um, I'm supposed to be both last month and this month supposed to be doing a whip for the um, mystery yarn challenge. I haven't picked up the project forever but today I was like okay where's the project what do I need to make it oh I forgot to get one of the yarns I need um, and I found the hook so I got a hook I got the yarn and the project in a like out with my stuff I just as soon as I get out done video recording today I'm going to grab my yarn. If it's not in there, I have a yarn over here that would work. I might just grab that one anyway because it will work. That would be cute actually, so I think I'll just grab that yarn right there. That saves me effort. Um, so I'm counting that as progress. I may, I may work on it tonight. I think what is helping is I just sent that caterpillar I made, and if I can find the picture, I'll put it up here. I just sent that off to my grandson. His birthday is this weekend. He's turning four. Um, and so I got that sent in the mail. I paid a little extra on shipping so that it would get there before his birthday. Otherwise, it could get there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I wanted it before his birthday. So I got that shipped off, and it kind of spurred me to be like, oh, I've got to finish a present for my granddaughter. Her birthday's in July. I gotta get working on that. So hopefully that will give me enough spur and if I can just get going on, I can get it. I can tell you, if I can just finish this project, just whip it out, be done with it, it would just relieve so much pressure off my shoulders. So I'm hoping to get that done. Have I worked on anything else? I have been doing my, um, I did do my temperature socks. I did them yesterday, not Sunday, but I did do them this week. So at least I'm not behind. Let me go to my creative dashboard. My notions dashboard. Just look. Okay. Have not worked on that. Have not worked on that. Have not worked on that. Have not worked. Oh, I have. I have. Oh, do we still have it in here? Oh, I swear I brought it in here. Where is it? Well, dang. Yes, I can't show you that. Um, I um took out the last little tiny sock, and I was making those sock bookmarks. I took out the last one. And I restarted it this last Sunday. So I have worked on that. I restarted it because it just felt like I I felt like I was messing up too much and so I just started over. So I should get that um, finished pretty quickly. And what do I have going on crochet wise? Um, okay, everything else is kind of on hold. <sighs> and that's just, you know, it's got to be okay. Um, there's been a lot going on. You know, I've been trying to figure out what's going on with my health. Um, finishing up school. Uh, yeah. When I look at the next month, I kind of go, I'm not a person who likes to schedule a lot of things and I have quite a few things coming up, but it really makes me a little anxious. It, it will be fine. It just some, like when I look at it, it feels overwhelming. I think that's the number one reason why I tend to be a day planner versus a week or a monthly planner because you can be different ones. Some people 
like when they're feeling overwhelmed, if they do a monthly reset, it just kind of gets them feeling back on track. Other people, if they do a weekly reset, it gets them back on track. If I try to look at more than just today, I can get pretty darn overwhelmed. So I think that's why I choose to be more of a um, daily planner. I will put things in the schedule, of course, events and stuff, and then I will kind of try to get an idea of what's coming up for the week um, at the beginning of the week. But then it's pretty much daily and then like maybe the night before double check what's going on tomorrow like today I had an appointment and a dentist appointment for my daughter so I had a personal appointment well it was a business appointment and then I had a dentist appointment so I had two things going on today I don't think I have anything going on tomorrow depends on if my son works and that's kind of nice because yeah anyway um a little rambly today and things like that i feel i woke up very stuffy today and just i had a lot of things my body went what are you doing i had which is why i found out about the intolerance because i had another thing and i was like okay i just had a reaction to this what's in it and it was chicory and um, it was a very similar reaction to soy. I wasn't just getting a tummy ache or a headache. It was like my lips were tingly and stuff. So uh, when I have that strong of a reaction though, it usually takes me a few days to fully recover. So I'm not surprised that I'm super stuffy and cause like, it's just like sets my whole body into an inflamed state. So. Anyway, I'm going to go edit this video and get it up for you. I'm sorry it's not like super energetic and happy. Um, I've been doing a lot of comparisonitis kind of stuff going on right now. And I look at all of the people on YouTube who just, they grow their channels like that. And I realize that most of them, they just are charismatic people. And because they're so charismatic they gain a lot of followers and i'm not necessarily a charismatic person it doesn't mean that i don't have something about me that people would want to watch it doesn't mean that you don't you know that you're not interested in being a part of my channel it just means that it's probably going to be a slower growing community for me than some of those people that are just super charismatic and i'm just learning to accept that and be okay with that. But while we're speaking about that, if you would like to, I would love it if you would hook that subscribe button, like the video, leave some yarn or a comment in the, the thing. Just let me know. What are you guys working on right now? Um, are you working on something fun? Are you kind of taking the summer off? What's going on? I would love it. I would, seriously, I love having a little conversation down in the comments. So. If you would go ahead and do that, I'd appreciate it. Um, anyway, with that, oh, let me pull out a thing or two. I'll pull out a crochet and a knit. So I got a knit for Tech Show. Oh, yeah. Uh, I will put the pattern links down in the description for this show. Um, there is an automatic upload of this. If you guys want, um, me to add an automatic upload of Millie then let me know I'll add that so it's in every video since she's in my background um, however this oh actually I did use a pattern for that I did I think well in most no I didn't I didn't I made that up I was miss my first mystery yarn challenge um, so there's no pattern for that but I will put the pattern for this and pattern for this and with that through crochet and knitting um, whatever you feel like doing remember to let your light shine through your creations and I'll see you guys next time bye